Hi, thank you for visiting. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about our research. So here in the Springer group, we have three foci, but they're not separate from each other. They're actually nicely connected. We constantly look for connections between them in order to generate exciting new approaches. The first one is the MHC class 1 proteins. These are proteins at the cell surface that help the killer T cells of the immune system recognize body cells that have either become infected by virus or that have turned malignant. That means they start growing and eventually they want to become a tumor. Now both these kinds of cells, the virus infected and the malignant cells, they make proteins in them that are different from the proteins made in normal cells. And these different proteins get cut up into pieces called peptides and they then bind to these MHC class 1 proteins and they are transported to the cell surface. This process is called antigen presentation. So the T cells can look at them and they can detect what peptides are made inside the cell. Now we've already learned a lot about antigen presentation but we would like to study its molecular mechanism even more such that antigen presentation can be supported by vaccination or by therapy in patients. One of the ways we investigate antigen presentation is actually by something that we've done for a long time, by studying the transport of membrane proteins inside cells. One of the things is the transport of membrane proteins from inside the cell, the endoplasmic reticulum, to the surface of the cell. The other one is the transport back from the cell surface to the inside, to endosomes and to lysosomes. And of course, these MHC class 1 proteins are transmembrane proteins, and so the amount of class 1 proteins that is present at the cell surface depends exactly on these two transport processes. And this is how our basic science and the immunology nicely come together. For this, we use methods that are not just from immunology, so flow cytometry or microscopy. No, we also do a lot of biochemistry in the lab. We use biophysical machines, spectroscopy, and we also use computers to do simulations of protein structure and simulations of networks and pathways in order to generate hypotheses with that that we can then test in the laboratory. Now, with all these things that we're learning from applying these tools, these methods to the immune system, I actually come now to our third focus, and that is generating new tools for basic research, for diagnosis, and hopefully also for therapy, eventually. For example, we are developing a new test, a new method for the detection of T cells that are tumor or virus specific. And we're also using nanomaterials, nanometer-sized capsules, to develop new assays that are, again, based on antibodies and on the immune system. And so this way, the basic science and the application really come together very nicely. Well, now I invite you to look around on our webpage. We have put together a lot of information for you. And if you're still not satisfied, just write me an email. Thank you and enjoy.